Women with autism are constantly being treated differently from their male peers and other people in general. And this it, video is about how how they're treated differently and ways that we can stop it, potentially, hopefully. Oh, these aren't homemade. They were made in a factory. A bomb factory. They're bombs. Okay, Kylie. Do you feel that being born a woman affected the diagnosis process for you to get diagnosed with autism? Um, yes, because um, I have all these like things like with with myself like very being very stressed and not knowing what to do some in some circumstances, but I try to push through it. It's just it's just kind of like yeah, it's really kind of hard. Okay. Have you ever been wrongfully diagnosed with something other than autism? And do you ever feel like it might be because you're a woman and not a man? Um, well, it depends. Um, so I have autism, but I have like things that kind of, uh, stress me out and kind of gets in my head, like things like a, like, like that, like Autism, like, I know I'm on the, um, high, I'm, I'm on a, like, the high spectrum, and not, I'm not, like, low, like, dysfunctional, but sometimes, like, high functional, it has its ups and downs, it kind of, it's, it's like, rough to ride, like, you, sometimes you just can't think of the thing that you want to think of, but you go to something else, and sometimes it kind of, it's kind of stressful, so you get a little bit tense, yeah. You sometimes feel like you can't do anything at the moment because the stress in your head is getting to with the things that you're doing in your real life, like at school. Like, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it has that, but it depends who you are. True. But it's not. Do you think that maybe not needing as much help as your peers on the spectrum makes teachers or your family feel like you might need less help even though you do need help and you do need accommodations but because you're well spoken and you're smart people think you don't need the accommodations do you ever feel that way uh yes i actually do it's like so uh like when you like think too much it makes you feel like you need to do everything at once, mm -hmm. and um, it makes you, uh, I'm not sure what else. I it's get. okay, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Um, do you feel like your diagnosis affects your love life or how you view relationships? Yes, actually. I'm actually, I've been at this school for um, four years, and most of my classes, I've been in like with boys, like so I'm used to hanging around boys than girls, cause it's like a thing. Like I have a lot, of, like boys as friends, but I don't really like go up to like to other people and make a conversation. I just say hi because I get nervous and then I fast walk away to my corner. So, but I, yeah, I, yeah. I have little problems with that, but sometimes I just gotta roll with it and try to accept it, but sometimes it's hard for other people. It's just very nerve-wracking to make uh, to um, start a conversation or like if you don't know what to say, it's kind of like awkward. I get that. Yeah, it's very <coughs> stressful sometimes. Do you ever feel that your diagnosis affects how the teachers or future employers might see you uh, or your family? Uh, yeah, because um, I, I was, I, okay. It's okay if you don't want to answer. Okay. okay. You did really good. That's all the questions. Yeah. You're very pretty. I love your hat. Thank you so much. We're never gonna taste those balls. Feels like something's wrong with me and they know it. Ithaca, a teen girl on the spectrum, says that she's had people tell her she's wrong and can't possibly have autism, 
because she's constantly masking in public to a point where she doesn't really get to be herself. It affects her love life because her partner acts as if she needs to be fixed or as if she's not a whole complete person. Day to day, she notices that she's not treated as capable or if she <laughs> is, then she's treated like a know-it-all. It really affects her communication and how she interacts with people. Feels like something's wrong with me and they know it. They has experience as a woman on the spectrum. She says because she is a woman, during the early diagnosis process, she was only suspected of different mood disorders, or even at one point she was told that she was just being dramatic. She's been told before that she doesn't have autism simply because she masks so intensely in public. And she's gotten into arguments with former partners in the past who try to convince her she is not actually autistic just because they do not want to be viewed as somebody with an autistic partner. On paper, her diagnosis does not affect her day-to-day -day life, but having autism contributes to feeling of being extremely burnt out and tired all of the time. Her family refuses to even believe her diagnosis because of how much she masks. It would be so awesome. It would be so cool. Okay, Tara. Do you feel like being born a woman affects the diagnosis process? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Do you do people ever tell you that you don't have autism simply because you're good at masking the symptoms? Yes, all the time. Have you been wrongfully diagnosed with something else before autism was even considered by the professional due to you being a woman? Yes. Okay. Um Do you feel like your diagnosis affects your love your love life? If yes, can you give an example of how if you're comfortable? No, it does not. Okay. Do you feel like your diagnosis affects your career slash school or day-to-day -day life? Sometimes. Do you feel like your diagnosis affects how other people see you? Yes. Felt? Do you feel like your diagnosis affects how your family sees you? No. That's good. Okay. Thank you for answering these questions. You did great. We're never gonna taste those Something's wrong with me and they know it. Weren't those all some crazy accounts of women with autism? Isn't it so messed up how the world treats them and sees them? And as somebody who is in the middle of the diagnosis process herself, it has been increasingly difficult to get a diagnosis. It, I was recommended to be diagnosed in the third grade and I'm now 19 years old so we definitely need to do something to fix that and to make a change <clears throat> and if you want to help our cause you can sign our petition which will be in the links in the video below that is our video about women on the spectrum